Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Benny Review, the series in which I review your edits. To enter these videos, all you gotta do is tag hashtag Benny Review 2022 in your next Instagram post. And then right now, let's just get straight into it. Just like the previous time, I'm rating your edits with pixels, basically the same as five stars, except it's five pixels. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get into it. The first one for today contains one of the most common mistakes I think out there, um, and that is highlights. As you can see, this person has a very, very bright, almost blown out highlight on the edges, but that's pretty much it. And that isn't exactly how highlights work. A good example to show this is the Photoshop battle photo I took for this month. As you can really clearly see, the light isn't just on the edges, it's also on other areas like these. So I guess just make sure you don't just put them on the edges. But other than that, this looks really cool. It's a fantastic composition. I like the colors, it's, it's nice. I'm giving this three pixels a very dreamy edit. Now this looks pretty nice. One thing I've noticed is that the highlights or the light in general I should say is not consistently the same color. You decided to make the moonlight blue which is a perfectly fine decision but as you can see the highlight on the children isn't exactly the same shade and of course that also differs from the highlight on the roof and then on the chimney it's again a different color so I would say be a little more consistent with the coloring of light. Blue isn't just blue you have cyan which is also blue so make sure it's the exact same shade and also i see some areas in the background are blurred and others are not the stars are super sharp but more towards the right it's a bit blurred so i would say don't do that just either make the whole thing blurred or just not at all but other than that it looks very dreamy so uh, well done i'm gonna give this two and a half pixels this one is looking very nice. Again, it's pretty much the same issue as the first one. The highlights are just on the edges. We don't want that. That's not exactly how those work. But mainly I want to focus on something else. And that is the jellyfish. The way you did it, they kind of look 2D. And I don't know if that's because of the images you used or because you used the images in a wrong way. Now, I don't like to use the word wrong because it's not technically wrong. But what I would do is this. Say you have this jellyfish. You want to avoid touching the luminosity at least too much. Basically, if you want to make this blue and glowy I'd suggest just adding some blue using a hue and saturation and then adding a glow on top but don't decrease the luminosity too much because then it's going to appear flat kind of like this so maybe that could have improved this a little bit but other than that it looks very nice and dreamy so uh three pixels the witcher very very epic now as you can see the tones you've got pretty much perfect it's very cohesive color wise but one thing i think is lacking and that's the moon is reasonably bright it maybe you could make it even brighter but it's pretty bright and so i would say you need a little more highlights on Geralt. i kind of tried something myself and this is what i think would be a bit more accurate as you can see this kind of puts more attention onto him which i think is very important and makes him stand out from the background so uh, yeah that's what i would have done but other than that it looks pretty nice so uh two pixels as you probably noticed, I'm not going easy on you guys. I'm not easily giving five pixels at all. But the point of this is for you guys to get better and, and you know, improve your skills. And so I want to encourage you to get better at your craft. That's basically why I'm being so hard on you. But yeah, anyway, the next one is... I just had to include this because it's so freaking beautiful. This looks fantastic. In fact, I don't think there's one thing I can say... I would change. It looks so beautiful. It's very dreamy, very atmospheric. The lighting is almost pretty much perfect from what I can tell. And so this one deserves a whopping four and a half pixels. Like I said, five pixels is incredibly rare, but this is fantastic. Four and a half pixels. Then the next one, this looks very, very atmospheric. You've really got that depth in there, which I think is fantastic because that's what a lot of people uh, suck at and I sucked at it too at first. But one thing is bothering me a little bit and that's the windows. You made them look like there's light inside, which technically you did right, except not enough, I would say. And this is very easily visible when you turn this black and white. You can see that the windows aren't really bright anymore. So what I suggest you do next time is reduce the glow on top and increase the light in the windows. That I feel like would look something like this. And you can clearly see it looks way more lit, basically. So that's what I would do if I were you next time. Uh, but other than that, it looks very nice. So uh, three and a half pixels. 
Then we have a sea monster, which looks very badass and scary. Now, I think this is very good. I wouldn't say there's something wrong with it. It's just something that I would have changed is seawater isn't very clear. Like it is clear, but underwater, it's all very, you know, I would make the monster look a bit more vague. So he's not so much in the foreground because as you can see, the ship is pretty far away. So I would suggest maybe adding some more atmosphere in that underwater scene, which would make him look like he's a bit further away. But that's what I would do. I don't know if that's what you prefer. It's a pretty nice three and a half pixels. This looks very nice, very dreamy. You can really see you have a pretty good understanding of how this stuff works. Yet one thing I, I don't know why but the plane seems a bit out of place for me and i think that is mostly because the shadows of these mushrooms are really dark and on the plane it's not really and that also makes it look like it kind of fades out into the grass which of course it shouldn't so i think if you would add a bit more of a darker shadow just like this kind of i think it's a tad better but i'm not sure because this is a tricky one not gonna lie tricky one but this looks really good so uh three and a half pixels now, this one looks very nice, but there's one thing kind of off, I would say, and that's the lighting on the fox. The rose is right in front of him, so the light should look something more like this, where it's just the front of his face being lit up. Basically, you have to ask yourself, what does this light reach? Does it reach this area? I don't think so. I guess that's the best way to approach it, but uh, it's difficult, not gonna lie. Lighting is by far the most complex thing in art. It's also the only thing that matters if you think about it. I'm gonna give this one two pixels. Then this one looks very good. I am convinced that the blending is not a problem for you. It looks very cool. The lighting looks freaking great. But one thing that bothers me is I don't know where to focus on. Clearly in the middle here, we have this huge kraken, I'm gonna assume. And yet on the left here, we have a boat with a pretty bright lantern. And so it makes me wonder, where do you want my focus to be? Half of the composition is filled with water, which is sort of blank really because there's nothing going on there then a good portion is the sky the horizon and then this boat and then i would say maybe think of a composition that really draws your eyes into one spot or maybe one or two spots instead of this where it's kind of uncertain where at least for me where i want the attention to be so uh that's maybe something you can think about next time the blending however looks phenomenal so i'm gonna give this three pixels this image is very, very cool, very crisp. I like crisp stuff. It looks uh, it looks just very good, really. Now, this is also very artistic, as you can see. These are very clear decisions you made in making it this way, which I respect. That's completely fine. Four pixels. Then, believe it or not, we have another underwater scene. And for this one, I think it's, for me at least, it's the same issue as before, where I would make it a bit more vague underwater. I don't know what, what... I'm not sure what the word is. I feel like something like this would look a tad more intense and underwater-ish. Basically making sure that black isn't really black anymore because it's, you know, a lot of water. It's very dense. So, uh, yeah. But other than that, it looks nice. So, uh, let's give this three pixels. Now, this one looks very nice. All I can think about, though, is your wasting potential. There is lighting in the sky, except it's not bright. It's very dim. So I would say if you put lighting in something, it's got to be so freaking bright. It's going to look something like this, where the lighting is nice and bright. And then it also casts a nice highlight onto your Pokeball, which will make that stand out more also. And so that's what I would have done. It makes it just a bit more dynamic in a way. But you did already put the pieces in there, which is uh, interesting. Anyways, this one looks very nice. Three and a half pixels. Then we have a classic concept, the glowing jellyfish. It it never gets old. It's just, it's just good. However, for this one, I would say make the light a little more intense. It seems very dim right now. The glow is also quite subtle, which is fine, but I would make it a bit more intense. First off, I would put the jellyfish a bit closer to your face so you can really add those nice pink highlights on there, which would look something like this, making sure the face is nicely lit. And then also I increase the glow a tiny bit, but that's not really necessary. It's more preference. But yeah, as you can see, this really makes it look like it's in front of her face and not just a very big light somewhere above her. So I suppose that's what I would have done. It does look nice though. So three and a half pixels for you. Then we have this very, very beautiful, glowy, glary landscape. And I would say this looks very nice. It's very shiny. And I think that's exactly what you were trying to do. So that's fine. However, I would say try 
dialing it down just a tad because it's it's a lot right now and really like in a way it's very good that you did this because i'm always like if you want to learn you first have to look for the absolute extremes and i feel like this is an extreme and it doesn't even look bad i'm just saying maybe you can from this point on continue and trying to make it more subtle have it more as an element in there instead of like a like the overarching theme i i guess i would call it but this may also be a preference thing so take that with a grain of salt uh, anyways it looks very nice four pixels for that so uh yeah moving on this i think is one of the most interesting ones i've seen yet i do not know what you did but something incredibly interesting happened and let me show you what that is this eye is shining light onto the house which is uh a strange purple color that's a choice i'm not gonna say anything about that that's a choice but uh if you turn the look here's here's the thing to me this looked strange and instantly i could tell why that is it's because this is in fact darker than everything else this what is supposed to be a light beam is darker than the background and right now you may say what no, it doesn't look darker let me show you if you drop this in photoshop and take out the color it it kind of shows you it is literally darker and so sometimes colors are really treacherous because you can't always tell if it's darker or lighter some colors are darker green for example is the brightest color in the rgb spectrum blue on the other hand is very dark now this is blue you used a bunch of blue in this and that just so happens to be a darker color i still don't know how you did this because i automatically would put something like this on screen and then it would be brighter automatically but i i I don't even know what you did. I would just say make that a lot brighter and I mean a lot something like this and then you can clearly see now it's light. Now it looks like it's bright. It looks like he's actually shining light onto this house and so uh, that's my tip I suppose but it does like I do like the idea so I'm gonna give this uh, three pixels. Nonetheless because this is a this is a stinker right here. This is this is a very difficult topic and so uh, yeah anyway moving on. The last one for today, I find this a very sweet creation. It makes sense. There's, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it personally, but this is again preference. I would still show the horizon just like this to just make sure that there's kind of this, um, yeah, well, horizon. I don't know why. I suppose it gives it some depth. That's a fact. But other than that, I don't know. It's just preference, I suppose. Anyways, I'm going to give this one four pixels because it's very nice. It looks very good, very cartoony. I love it. And then I guess those are the ones I'm covering today. If you want to see your edit in a potential next episode, make sure to tag hashtag BennyReview2022 in your next Instagram post. And then uh, I guess that's it for today. If you like this video, make very, very sure to leave a like and subscribe. And then I hope I'll see you in my next video.